What's happening? It's Johnny Snow back in the building. And in the last video, I showed y'all this Olight that we put on my Beretta 92X Compact, the RDO model. And now we're getting ready to take a look at the Baldor Pro. The Baldor Pro. really like this on my Beretta and this is the smaller light laser combo that they have so that's why I decided to put it on the compact of course uh, smaller light laser on the compact weapon so that works for me so now we're going to look at the larger size Baldor Pro Baldor Pro let's get a better look at this thing let's go ahead and Open this box up. Let's see. Let's get this thing out of the box. And of course, we got directions and everything that we're supposed to be following. But let's see. This thing on it. Let's fit all of this to the side. So here is the light. This light has a separate light and laser. Whereas the Balder S actually has the laser emitter right there within the light shield. All right, so sit that back over here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I have to open. Yep, they have a little thing to prevent connections during shipping. So let's. Close this back up. Open that bag up. Close it. So now we're ready to use it. There is the light. There is the laser. This is the green laser. All right. So trying to decide what weapon. To put this on and I was thinking maybe I'll put it on the Glock let's check it out on the Glock and that's what it looks like on the Glock it sticks out way past the barrel of the Glock and eh, hit me in the comments tell me what you think you know maybe Let's look at it on another weapon. All right. Here's the Springfield Echelon. Let's see what it looks like on the Echelon. All right. Sticks out way past the barrel on the Echelon as well. And, I mean, it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Don't know if I really need it on here since I have the red dot have the optic on it but that's what it looks like on the echelon let's look at it on a larger weapon here's a 10 millimeter rock island rock island 10 mil let's does not stick out past the barrel on here is actually pretty damn flush with the barrel and this right here the jury's is still out so you know don't take no points off of the compensator if you don't like it the jury is still out this thing has a threaded barrel so i was playing around with it seeing what some things look like you know i'll be the crash test dummy i'll try it out so other people don't have to hit me in the comments tell me what you think about it and all right so that's what what the balder looks like on a full size weapon. This is a 10 millimeter, 1911. So, yeah, looks pretty decent on there. Looks pretty decent on there. And it does not come back to the trigger guard. So, you'll have to reach your finger out to actually turn the light laser on. Have to reach out reach out to it but that's what it looks like 
on the 10 millimeter 1911. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like on Robocop. All right. Here's what it looks like on the Canic Rival S. This uh, Rival S has a 4 or 5 blast compensator on it. Also has the hollow sun uh, optic on it as well. So that's what it looks like on there. Hit me in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. All right. That is the Canic. Let's look at it. On the war chief all right here's what it looks like on the beretta m9 a4 the war chief call this the war chief because of the grips so you see that we have the war chief grips on here and yes it does look pretty good on here actually looks pretty good on there and the way it sits on here is decent. I like how it sits on there. So hit me in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think as far as which weapon. I'm not even going to try putting it on there because, nah, don't want it on there. For now, I'm just going to put this thing on the, put it on the echelon for now. Just leave it on the echelon because, you know, looks decent on there. I don't see nothing wrong with the way it looks. And I like the, the distance from grip to button. So, you know, I like the way it, the way it looks. Let's see if you can see that laser through there. But... That is just for now. That is just for now. I'm just going to leave it on there. Sit this over to the side. Sit that over there. So these are the two light lasers that I done here recently. So this is the Baldor Pro. Baldor Pro with the green laser. Baldor Pro green laser. And this is the Baldor S with the blue laser. Balder S with the blue laser. This is the Beretta 92X, uh, 92X Compact RDO. RDO stands for Red Dot Optic. You can see the cuts. But yeah, hit me in the comments. Tell me your guys' thoughts. Anything that y'all would have did different, you know, and what y'all think about O lights in general. Do you have O lights? What are, you, what are your thoughts on O-Lights? Do you like O-Lights? So far, so good with me. I've had about three of them, and I haven't had any issues out of them. So I personally don't have any problem with O-Lights. They get super bright. They work real good. Let's see. This is the Baldor Pro. Let's see which light is brighter between the. That's the light of the Baldor Pro. And let's turn the light on the Baldor S. All right, the Baldor S. Wow. There's a big difference between the Baldor Pro and the Baldor S. White light versus yellow light. All right, so there you guys have it. Give me in the comments. Tell me your thoughts. Matter of fact, Hit them likes and notifications. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe so you can follow the journey that I take all of these weapons on. And like I said, make sure you hit them notifications so you get notified every time I drop a video. Johnny Snow up out of here.